perfect run. But that extra little X factor of just some big angle snap or something. Fjainsek, his snap through the center of the course was amazing. Okay. Now we move one. on. To, there's still two got one guy. So let's that can upset recap the on the top four at the moment. Fjainsek's in first, Heinen in second, Dean in third. Now Dwayne McKeever could go into that top four. He has got a 90.5 first run. He's currently second in the championship. The championship points that are on display for the show that he needs them. He's coming in hot. Oh wow, he's coming in super hot. He's very wide. He's clinical. It's absolutely beautiful at the moment from Dwayne McKeever as he smokes out Riga, fires down. Middle of that zone for the transition up into the ball. Bumper just flying with touching onto the ball. As McKeever absolutely hammers the Rebel Mirror across the line. It's job done for Dwayne McKeever. So this is going to be, is it higher than a 93? That's where it's going to be now. Oh my God, the points. I can hear or see absolutely nothing. Dwayne McKeever. Two 360s. He made the entire... I'm not even, that's a 720, that's the math. Oh, sorry, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Dwayne McKeever having fun out there. Now let's watch the run, let's dissect it. We're looking for 90 plus here. Is there anywhere? First corner to me looked pretty solid. Through the first do corner. You know, do you know what? Side by side, I think that's the same as James Dean's run. You think so? He, the rear wheels were exactly could, the could same Could he place. have been a little wider here? And could he have been a little wider on this outer zone? That just, again, uh, have, yeah, a, have yeah. a watch, have a watch. Yeah, you're right, he was middle of this. Yeah, yeah. Could, middle of the zone, middle of the zone. Yeah, Wasn't no. right out on the curves on those two areas. Everywhere else, amazing. I'm not going to say too much more because I just made a massive mistake because then James Dean had it and he didn't have it, but... I think it's that little bit of risk with the curb, that little X factor with the, I mean, that's the little bit that's separating a 90 from a 100, I think. And this has it in spades on this wall, spades on the entry. Let's see where McKeever goes. Oh, into fourth position he goes. He creeps into the showdown. Knocking out Connor Falvey. Same score as Falvey, but the first run much better oh, yeah. from McKeever. And now he's into the qualifying showdown is Dwayne McKeever. So we are down a, and a lot of driving already so far today, right? We go back to the line to a man that was angry. He was pretty angry with an 88, so. And we don't often see the machine yeah. angry. So he got a, he's in 11th position right now. To get into the top four, that's where he would want to be to do the showdown battle. He would need a 92.5 or better, probably a 93. So here we go. James Dean fires into that first corner, right to the edge of the circuit. Much better this time, doesn't fall out of that zone. Very aggressive flick across the track of James Dean, much more precise than this first sort of big angle to the center of the course. He tries, he lifts the wheel off the ground, gets right to the curve and initiates right onto that wall. Perfect so far from James Dean. And he takes it right out to the wall, spoiled, hanging wow. over the wall. Oh, and a massive 360 in front of the grandstands. Not a shake of the head that time. Much happier. Um, that's it. You think that's the one? That's it. Look how early he initiated. Look where the rear wheel is. He gets middle track there. I mean middle track, middle of that zone there. Everywhere else is absolutely clinical. It's a hell of a run, I've got to say. Look at the angle. And then look at the line. Boom. There's, it's almost, there's nowhere to take anything from him. It's perfect. I, now it comes down to subjectiveness of angle, speed, fluidity, yep, yep. risk, all that stuff. Wasn't a huge amount of risk on the run. I don't know, Dave. He was past no, the tower like, pretty fast. No, I think like, what I'm saying is, yeah, 94 on the board. I'm going to say Vjainsek a little bit more risk with the speed. You think he yeah. risked it more? I think he just took a little bit more of a risk. I thought it was there. I, th I, I honestly thought it was there. I think it was the I, big transitions. I think 94 is a fair score. I think it was... So this is the man. All the pressure on his shoulders. The oh, Finnish wow. fans in the grandstand <laughs> are on their feet because this is the man carrying their torch, carrying the dream. Could he be the first ever Finnish Driftmasters champion? He's got to go through one of the toughest, most scary tracks on the calendar. The Lori Heinen, ice cold Lori Heinen, is ready to go here. Well, here we go, Dave, through the gears. He goes big initiation, super early. Look at that, he's got that thing in sports as he comes firing down. He carries an incredible amount of speed and pace. And this is textbook. Look at the line he's got. He was a back to the wall. Heinen is unstoppable. He is absolutely in the zone this year. Oh. 
and the place erupts. I'm starting to nickname him Ice Cold Nori Heinen because it doesn't look like any occasion ever gets the better of him. Do you know what? He's got a new nickname from me. The Undertaker. The Undertaker. I like he's him. He's the Undertaker. He's ice Do you know cold. why? Because he's ice cold and he's carrying all the bodies away, Dave. He is not messing around. Look at this. Helmet off. He's waiting for the score to appear on the screen. I guarantee you that if he, he, if, sure. he if he tops qualified now, halfway uh, yeah. through, he'll go. Oh, cool. cool. <laughs> not, not all the work done though. <laughs> no. Still, still left. Still some out there. Right. Let's take this run apart. Let's have a look at this because we called it and said it was incredible. Is it incredible? I, I mean, I don't know what the judges are looking for completely. God. We'll have a word with God, them, but this line. looks, to me, pretty spot on. If he goes super wide here and carries the speed, oh my God, that is phenomenal. And we've seen Falvey and we've seen Vinsek top it at the moment, like they're up there ahead of everyone else. Yeah, I mean, I mean, honest, look I'm, at this. But you know what? It's a, it, you got to say, as we said, the, the Undertaker, right? The Stone Cold. That's how you got to be. You yeah. have to win this championship. You can't be just delighted with a good you run. You've got to be expecting it. Expecting if you're the it, best yeah. in the business, then you've got to be here to prove that. And, you know, he's not an arrogant man. He's not a loud-spoken no. man. But um, Oh, he's so humble. It hurts. I'll tell you what, he's sending a <laughs> chill down the spine of everybody else oh, here, though, because he is not making any errors. You know what? Sometimes you just want him to show a little oh, bit. Oh, my, my God. goodness. Wow. Oh, the grandstand nearly fell over. We're going to a semi-final final. Whole new thing this year. A lot of fun. Exciting. Man that is in the top four right now also is Peter Fjernsek. He has a 95. Where do you find the other five points? He has got a 99 on the circuit before. That is a fact in the S15. But I think this 95 is the highest score he's got so far in the Supra. It is, yeah. You're right. But could he go higher? Could he go up to 99 or 98 or 100? I don't know what that looks like. So I, that would have to be a scary thing to watch. Let's see what happens. Comes off the line. Peter Vianzek in the Toyota Supra. Can he go even higher? Can he beat Laurie Heinen? Oh, well, he's gone early. He's gone early and he's going faster than he did before. And he's right to the edge of the circuit. Look at that wheel on the white line as he puts a wheel to the curb now. As Vincek says, I can go higher. Oh, my God, it didn't even make sense. It was 90 degrees to both curbs as he now puts the car into the outside zone. Peter Vincek is on another level this year. He's on another level right now as he finishes an incredible run. Oh, that's up there. It's already up there. He's already in second position, but is it better than Heinen's? He was 1.5 points behind Heinen on his first run. I think everything was perfect. Does he make too much contact with the wall at the end? Is the only thing I could take a point or two away from? And I'm not a judge, so I don't know why I'm taking points away from Yeah, I, I don't know how much this is, is too this much. This is perfect. This is phenomenal. Perfect. Transitions, perfect. No, it's the transition. Here. But does he hit the curb? Is that a deduction? Watch. No, no he's, he's literally perfect. on it. It's perfect. Look at this. And again, and then look at the line. Oh, he's so full steam here. Oh, my God. And it's the only thing I was talking about. He comes in here. It's perfect. Does he tag all? He didn't all even no, slow the car down. No, but does he a little heavy? Just, it doesn't even really, does he? Does he handbrake here? It's a touch. <laughs> Three small jabs. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. And then we're on a wall. Look Watch at the steering focus. wheel. Does he have a bit heavy of a hit towards the end of the wall? Just keep an eye. We won't. I, I, don't, I don't think he does. It's first position. It's at 97.5, and you know what? I completely agree. Yeah. Because I was.